Good morning everyone, it's Scott Weddle here again and it's Christmas Eve. I hope you're all um, ready for Christmas and ready to spend some time with the loved ones and have an absolute awesome day tomorrow. Um, but today I just want to bring something into your awareness, alright? So, I want to talk about the, the way that we work, right? The way that we stay where we are, the way that we like put our brakes on and we feel familiar and we're in this little place where we feel familiar and we just put the brakes on, we hold ourselves back, but like, we don't understand why. It's like, what, what, what's happening here? What's going on? Why am I doing this? Why? I don't understand it. It's like, ah, it's really annoying. And then, but what you've got to realise is how the mind works, is your mind will look for a positive payoff for keeping you where you are. Because remember, the mind, our brains are wired for safety. We're wired for safety, so if we feel comfortable in where we are right now, and we consciously, consciously want to move to that next level, which, if you're anything like me, is a never-ending process. You're always looking for that next level, always striving, always going forward. Simple as that. And yeah, so your 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 mind always looks for the positive payoff to keep you feeling comfortable and keep you feeling familiar. So you stay where you are. You're, you unconsciously you'll hold yourself back. And you'll stay where you are because you think there's a positive payoff for staying here. Um, so, for example, you could, um, you well, for one of my examples, actually, I'll just use one of my examples that came into my awareness um, yesterday, is when obviously I'm planning to go travelling and stuff next year, but, but, <laughs> my unconscious mind has went and done some sabotaging behaviour because my unconscious mind is stopping me, trying to stop me, but well, you was trying to stop me from progressing forward towards that travelling because um, the positive payoff for me was that I'll, obviously I'm going to have to leave and leave my family behind etc. So losing the connection with my family. So keeping the connection with my family was the positive payoff for not moving forward and progressing forward. Does that make sense? I know that makes sense. So you've got to think what, like, and I'm always actively working on myself every fucking day. It's just an, it's, an, it's a habit, and it's something that if you can ingrain into yourself and start living from the inside out, your fucking life, like this inside belief work that you need to do, is so much more powerful, so much more powerful than learning how to do things. You don't need any more how-to information. You need more reasons why to do things inside of you, in your subconscious mind. We need to go in there, turn the light on, and oh, turn the light on. That's a good little thing that I'm going to go into next. Because the way the reason we we were like, well, why is this happening? I don't understand. Like, what, what am I doing this for? What? Why am I attracting this shit to me? Why am I attracting this shit to me? Or why am I acting like that? Or why am I thinking like that? Or whatever it is, because you can attract shit to you, shit to you. You can think that's going to stop you from going, or you can just feel that there's something ah, just not happening. So you've got to look at your outside world, and that's just a big cosmetic mirror of what's happening inside. All right. So you've got to look at what's going on outside of you. You got to actually find where am I holding myself back? Where am I holding myself back? Why am I holding myself back? What's the positive payoff? And the reason that you can't figure out what it is to start with anyway, is because what's in your subconscious mind's hidden from you. That you can't see it. You can't consciously it doesn't have the ability to think. It, it only your conscious mind it, you can't see it. Your conscious mind is what has the ability to think, not your unconscious mind. So what's in there's hidden and it's beliefs, behaviours, disciplines, habits, etc. that are in there, but you can't see them until you turn the light on. And to turn the light on you need to give yourself space. You need to give yourself space to turn the light on. So you need to, you can do it when you're journaling, meditating. You can just go for a walk. You can do whatever it, it needs to do um, to give yourself that space to then allow yourself for that to come up. And that's exactly what happened to me yesterday. I gave myself space. I went to a coffee shop, took my laptop, and that was it. Boom. Just sat. I knew there was something up, something out of alignment. And with a quick chat with one of my mentors, it poof, came up. So it's very, 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 very powerful when you just give yourself that space and you get a little bit of guidance. 
absolutely mind-blowing, game-changing fucking shit. It's so much more powerful than anything you'll do because when you strip back the layers of what's inside and you program that with new beliefs that are going to serve you moving forward, oh, trust me, you're, you're, just, you're just going to fucking excel. You're really going to excel. So that's why I'm so passionate about doing work from the inside out and helping people actually tap in to what their their inner most power and actually do what they really want to do in life. Um, because it's very, very fucking powerful work. And when you actually do and step up what you're meant to do, you will come across these blocks that are going to stop you from moving forward. So you need to, you need to do the inner work possible, right? You need to, it's, in, it's inevitable, right? So... I hope you actually have a, a fucking amazing day tomorrow and you spend some time with your loved ones um, and have just fucking just relax, take some time out and just reflect and this could maybe some time to think about what, what you need to work on, what you need to move forward in, okay? So remember, no matter where you are in life right now, you can get to where you want to be with the right mindset and correct aligned action. So guys, I opened up my Be A Hero yesterday, which is going to be a very, very fucking powerful six-week intensive. I'm looking for five people. Five people, five people who are fucking serious, serious about impacting the world in a fucking huge way, and they feel that urge from the inside, they feel that pull, that there's, there's more for them in the world, and they, they, they know there's more, and they want to tap into that, they want to figure out what that is, and they want to contribute to the fucking evolution of this planet, as simple as that, it's for people who want to step up and be powerful, it's people that actually are part of the 3%, that actually act and think big, and want to grow, and know there's more for them, but they just don't know what, they can't put their finger on it, they're maybe, they're maybe dabbling in it, but they're just not, there's resistance there, there's resistance there stopping them from doing what they really want to do, but they feel the pull within, yeah, so that's why I've opened up this, and it's going to be a very fucking powerful training, it's going to change your life, absolutely guaranteed, it's fucking powerful work, very powerful, and we're going to tap into your calling, tap into that calling and get you clear on who you are, and what you want to be known for, like, and just really cut through your BS excuses that are going on, surface level BS, deep level BS, so deep level BS being removing your subconscious and emotional roadblocks that are fucking holding you back from doing what you want to do, just like I was talking about, plan out, like, how you want to, like, unleash yourself into the world, like, what you want to create, how you want to help people, what you want to sell, like, for leaving your fucking legacy, like, behind you, <laughs> like, uh, like, I'm for one for, like, Thinking big, absolutely thinking big, thinking big, thinking big, thinking big. We'll find out who you want to work with, we'll find out everything that you need to find out. We'll come up with a fucking serious plan. Um, and like you said, we're gonna, I'm going to give you like two one-to-one -one sessions. There's going to be one at the start. The one at the start is going to be like just basically mapping out energetically what we need to do, see if there's anything we need to shift energetically for you to move forward and get the most out of the six weeks and the most out of the next 12 months of your life and that's what the second session's for is mapping out energetically what you're going to be doing over the next 12 months so you're absolutely fucking clear on where you're going and we're going to make an energetic blueprint on the fucking universe on where you're going and then when we do that it fucking happens there's no ifs there's no buts alright so this is very powerful if you want more information on that and you're ready 100% to step up then give me a shout I'll give you more information and We'll take it from there. But as you can see, I'm very fucking passionate about this because it's my fucking calling in life to do this, okay? So I'm stepping up to my calling. So it's time for you to step up to yours, okay? So have an absolute amazing day. Hope Christmas is brilliant and I'll speak to you again soon.